Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first live broadcast session of this event. I'm very happy to be here with you all. And since this event is all about hearing student voices, I'm also absolutely delighted to welcome Khadija. Um, you can see her on camera below. She's a student with us here. Thanks for giving everyone a wave, Khadija. She's here to answer your questions today while I talk. So she'll be in the discussion feed, and please do take this opportunity to learn more about her experience. We're really lucky to have her here with us today. So this session, we're going to dive into a guided virtual tour of our campus, which is really exciting because it gives you an opportunity to actually picture yourself as a student here at Carleton. So I'm going to take you for the next 20 minutes through a little tour of our campus. And I'm really looking forward to showing you some of the favorite spots that I studied in during my time at Carleton because I'm actually a former student of the university as well. If you have any questions for me, I can also post my email address in the discussion feed afterwards. My name is Katie and I'm an international admissions and recruitment officer here at Carleton. So I'd absolutely love to hear from you after the session. But with that, let's go ahead and get started and begin exploring our campus. So we're located in Ottawa, which is the fourth largest city in Canada. And as you'll see through some of these slides, we are very lucky to have a beautiful Riverside campus. Um, so that creates a very picturesque setting. I used to always love studying by the water. And lucky for me, the building that I work in is located very close to the canal, which borders one side of our campus. And that's the building we're starting with. So this is where you can find me as well as all of my colleagues in admissions. This is Robertson Hall. And this is really your first point of contact, so where all of our admission services take place. Um, so you can get a sense of what the building looks like when you walk into our lobby here. We've got our nice Ravens logo, which is, of course, representing our athletics here at Carleton, something we're very proud of. So we'll show you some of those facilities later on. And that's the exterior of the building there. So if we moved a little bit more to the right, we would actually see the water, but we'll get that in some scenes later on. Now, this is an important office as well, because of course, everybody likes to know what scholarship opportunities are available to them. For those of you who have already applied and may have been admitted, you might have noticed that you could have received an automatic entrance scholarship in your offer letter. And these are the folks that would have issued that to you. So there are friends in awards and financial aid in the same building that I work in. So not too far from my office, and that's where you can find them. This is one of my favorite scenes in the tour. So this is the university center and it's really a hub for student life. So when I was a student, I spent a lot of time in here. I'm sure that Khadija did as well um, and continues to do so, especially when we start reopening in-person learning on campus. But I really love these flags and what they represent because for every country that we have students at Carleton, we always represent them with a flag. So depending on where you're from, it's quite likely that we may already have the flag of your country represented here because we're lucky to have a really large and diverse student population at Carleton. And we have international students coming from over 150 different countries. But in case your flag isn't up there yet and you do come to Carleton, rest assured we will hang it for you so you can be proud to see your country represented. This is a very important office to highlight because these folks are here specifically to serve you. There are friends in the International Student Services Office, and they actually have a chat booth here today. So for any questions about immigration, study permits, anything along those lines, support for traveling to Canada, they can help you out with all of that. But they do so much more than just immigration advising. They have some amazing mentorship programs to help you with the transition to university and, of course, the transition to a new country. Country. And they also plan some really fun social and cultural events, which have continued in this virtual learning world that we're currently in temporarily. So absolutely pop into their booth to say hi, ask any questions you have, they're there to serve you specifically. 
in the University Center as well. This is where you can get your campus card, which is kind of like your all access pass to campus. You'll get a little photo, so make sure you brush your hair that day. And this is where you can also get your U Pass, which is um, an opt in option for public transportation here in Ottawa. Um, I certainly opted into this when I was a student because I was taking public transportation a lot. So that's something you may want to access. Now, also in the University Center, as I mentioned, is the hub of student life. So it's the perfect home for the Carleton University Students Association, or as we call it, CUSA. They are home to over 300 clubs and societies that are all student run. So really there's something for everyone, but also the very cool thing is if you don't find exactly what you're looking for, you can actually put in a proposal to create your own club or society. And that's a really cool leadership opportunity that you can use to make friends, but also to maybe strengthen your resume and just really embed yourself in campus life here at Carleton. So just to give you a sense, I know this is a little backwards, but if you were walking into the University Center, this is what you would see. So we've got the bookstore there, and the bookstore is certainly a place I would expect that you'll visit at some stage. Um, not only do they sell books, but also all kinds of awesome Carlton swag. So I have a quite the clothing collection coming out of the bookstore, and I encourage you to pick up a few pieces yourself so you can represent your school. Just want to give you a quick view inside. So we have kind of what I call the fun side of the bookstore and then the more academic side. So the view you're seeing here is, of course, the fun side. We've got all of those clothes that I was talking about. So lots of hats, shirts, mugs, keychains, anything you need to represent Carleton. Some snacks, of course, if you live on campus, that's very helpful. Or if you're hungry in between classes, pop in and grab a snack. And then through this doorway on the other side here, that's where you can get all your academic supplies. So notebooks, pens, pencil, and of course, textbooks. It is the bookstore after all. There's three different ways you can get those textbooks. So your professors will tell you which ones you require for each course. And then you can either buy them new you can buy them used, which is what I did a lot as a student because it tends to be more affordable, or sometimes you can even rent them. So that's a great option if you don't feel like you'll need the textbook beyond the course that you're taking. It can be a little bit more of an affordable option as well. So next up, we have the coffee house. And I love the coffee house called Roosters, of course, because uh, very fitting that our mascot is a raven because this little cafe is entirely student run. So that's awesome. I mean, it shows, again, a great example of student leadership, not to mention they have the best smoothies around. So if you have an early morning class, you can pop in here, grab a smoothie, a little bit of fuel for the day. And um, it's a great place to meet up with your friends in between classes as well. You'll see a lot of students congregating here. Um, to do a little bit of studying or a little bit of socializing. So it's a must when you're a student at Carleton to make sure you visit Roosters. Okay, now this might look just like a typical study space, but the reason I wanted to share this photo is because this is something you're going to see all the time. If you haven't been to Canada yet, um, you'll notice that you see a Tim Hortons on almost every corner. It's really just an inexpensive coffee shop. They do have great donuts though, but it's just kind of funny to show something that you'll start to instantly recognize as soon as you arrive in Canada. So this is one thing we would consider quintessentially Canadian, although I will not say that they have the best coffee. Um, I imagine that you'll eat or drink at least once here when you arrive in Canada. Um, it's a very quick place to grab some food or a nice hot drink. And um, I think a student favorite is an iced cappuccino. So that's what I would recommend starting with. Now, this is the Tory building. I had a lot of classes in here as a student, and what I like about it, besides the beautiful mural that you see here, is that it's quite easy to navigate, you can see, because of the shape. Um, so if you're new to campus, you haven't been here in person before, um, it's quite easy to find your way around, and there are quite a few uh, lecture halls in this building. There's also quite a few student services, so we're going to go through those now. Um, firstly, starting with the registrar's office. So they manage academic activities, they keep all of your academic records, and they're also the ones that would help you with registering for classes. 
Next, we have career services. Now, they saw a lot of me when I was a student. I really took advantage of this service and I encourage you to do the same. Um, they're amazing. They give you access to career coaches who can help you with your resume. They can even do mock job interviews to help you feel more confident. You know, it can be really nerve wracking to go into a job interview for the first time. So they're there to guide you through that whole process. And they can also help you with your job search. So if you're not sure where to start within your chosen industry, they can give you some suggestions about the best places to look. So absolutely worth visiting career services to kind of get a jump start on building your employability skills. Student Experience Office is a really fun place. They're the ones who plan orientation and make sure that student life is really active on our campus here. So they're always fun to pay a visit to. And of course, our Academic Advising Center. So they're the ones who can help you with any changes to your degree program. For example, if you're looking to add a minor or even if you decide that you want to switch into a different program that suits your interests better, they would be the ones to help you. So this is what you can expect when you step inside their office. They're very, very friendly, so don't be shy. And they're all about creating a personalized path for you. So this is a great place to visit if you want to talk about any elements of your degree to make sure that you're on track to get the degree that you want and in the time frame that you want as well. And a little peek inside the student experience office as well. Of course, they are very friendly too because they're all about creating great experiences for you here at Carleton. And now we're moving on to the library where you're of course quite likely to spend quite a bit of time. So this is a general seating area in the library. You can see lots of places to sit in between classes, do a little bit of quick studying. Um, there's always places to sit in here. But I wanna take you now to the Discovery Center because this is a really exciting and innovative place as you may have guessed from the name. And we have some really interesting features here that I would like to touch on. Um, this is meant to be an interactive space. So we have some group study um, rooms where you can book those in advance in case you have a group project. Um, we also have a whiteboard corner that you can use to solve problems in a very visual way if you're a visual learner. Um, an amazing feature that I never got the chance to use because they weren't there when I was a student, but treadmill desks. Um, I just think that is the coolest thing ever. You can exercise while you study. We know as students, you're often multitasking and it's actually proven to um, improve your brain function while you're studying. So you might remember things a little bit better if you do it while you're walking at a treadmill desk. Also, computer science students often love to hear about our gaming lab. We have two 3D gaming computers in there and students can put in requests for certain games if they like. And these are the study rooms that I mentioned. So if you're looking to collaborate with other students here at Carleton, that's the place to do it. And you can book those out so that you can work with your classmates. Now, Everybody has a different study style. For me as a student, I don't know about Khadija, maybe she works great in a group. I need absolute silence. Like I need to be able to hear a pin drop. So the nice thing for anyone who's similar to me to know is that there are floors in the library library that are silent floors and you can literally hear a pin drop. So this is typically where you would have been able to find me when I was a student. I love these little cubicles. They have a charging port, a little bit of privacy, everything you need to put your head down and really focus. So head on up to the silent floors if you're like me and you really need that quiet space to study. And then remember the Discovery Center is your spot for collaborating. And there's a photo of those treadmill desks I was talking about. So again, these are an amazing way to stay physically active while you're studying. Now we're going into the super lab. So this is a great transition for any science students who are interested. Now, I was not a science student, so I will not pretend to know what any of this equipment is, but I do know that this lab can hold two classes and also holds some amazing events like a chemistry magic show. So if you're a science student, I imagine you'll be quite excited by this awesome lab that we have here on campus. Now, you know, you're making the transition from high school to university, the classroom setting may look a lot different. So I wanted to give you a little preview into what that is look, lo what that looks like. This is just one lecture theater that we have. The particular building is Richcraft Hall. And 
This one brings back a lot of memories because I had a ton of classes in this particular lecture theater here. Now, obviously these are very, very large rooms. So these are likely to be more geared towards um, first year classes, which a lot of students are required to take. And as you get into your upper years, classes often get a lot smaller, maybe around 30 people or even less if it's a tutorial or discussion group. Now we do have a specific tour for residents that I would encourage you to explore on our website, but just to give you a general sense of what a double room looks like, this is the type of room that you would be guaranteed if you receive an offer of residence prior to May 14th. And a huge benefit of living in residence is you kind of get VIP access to some facilities that other students can't access because you'll have that key card to get into residence buildings. One of those is the Raven's Roost. Lots of fun games in here. We have ping pong, pool table, video games, board games, and events are hosted in here as well. So really fun movie and ice cream nights, those kind of things. Great way to connect with other students that are in residence. So definitely recommend spending some time in there uh, when you're not studying or in class. And of course, another important aspect of living in residence is the food. So this is our calf. Um, all of the food is locally sourced and we do have a registered dietitian who can help accommodate any dietary restrictions that you may have. Moving on to our athletics here, um, this is the field house. So any intramural sports that you're interested in participating in, like soccer, um, some of those may be taking place here. And this also becomes a location for exams. So this is another hub of our athletics life alumni hall. This is what it looks like when you enter. And this is home to our triple gymnasium, a really great mural to take photos in front of. Uh, you can have the Ravens wings behind you. And this is the Welcome Center. So they're very friendly. Of course, they'll be able to help you with any questions you have about, um, you know, reserving rooms or renting equipment. Rodney's house is where you'll go to purchase tickets for any athletics events. And I really encourage you to consider attending a basketball game because we are national champions. It's a big sport here at Carleton. Uh, so absolutely, if you're going to check out any sporting events, basketball is the number one choice I would recommend to you to get an awesome uh, feeling of school spirit. It's always fun to be on the winning team and uh, we often are. So uh, you'll be sure to have a good time. And here's a bird's eye view of our athletics facility. So you can see it is quite vast. Um, we do have squash courts, saunas, two NHL sized ice rinks. Of course, we're in Canada, so we really care about hockey and that triple gymnasium I mentioned. So I really hope that that virtual tour has given you some insight into what student life is like here at Carleton and that you got all of your questions answered in the discussion feed. However, if you do have any questions for me afterwards, um, you can always pop into the admissions question and answer booth. So I'll be sitting in there with some of my colleagues in between the live sessions that I'm doing, and I'll be able to answer any questions that you have about what I covered in this tour, or also if you'd like an update on your application status, feel free to pop in there, send us your student number, and we can tell you what's going on with your application. But the next live broadcast session will be starting in about five minutes. So I would encourage you to kind of wrap up with your questions. This discussion feed will close after I end the broadcast. And then you can head on over to the next broadcast to learn a little bit more about life in residence here at Carleton. So in any case, I thank you all very much for attending and I'm looking forward to seeing you at future sessions.